Topic of the news and breaking this morning, a smoky fire burns at a popular supermarket. Newswatch 16's Andy Palumbo live on the scene in Scranton. He joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Mindy and John. The immediate danger has passed, but the problems here at the giant in the Greenridge Plaza in Scranton are just beginning. What we're going to do right now is take you back to around 4 o'clock in the morning when the first alarm came in here. The first units on the scene reported smoke in the back of the building, and then when additional firefighters arrived, they saw flames shooting through the roof. One firefighter told me it appears at least right now the fire got its start in the back of the building, a storage area. There are also fryers back there for prepared food, and the fire worked its way up into the ductwork and out the roof. No one was hurt. The fire was declared under control in about an hour. But take a look at this. There is another problem here at this giant store in Scranton. There is smoke and water damage to the retail area where the customers do their shopping, where they push their carts, where they take things off the aisles. And according to the fire chief here in Scranton, there is so much smoke and water damage inside the front of the store. Everything in there might have to be thrown out. They will be consulting with inspectors and the health department later on today to see if anything can be kept or if that inventory has to be trashed. Again, no exact cause yet for this fire, but they do think it started in the back in a storage area where there are deep fryers and the flames work their way through the roof. No one was hurt and firefighters are still on the scene conducting their investigation. There were a handful of employees inside at the time. No customers because the store does not open until 6 a.m. and it's going to be closed for a while. Andy Palumbo, Newswatch 16, reporting live from Scranton. What a shame if they have to throw everything out. Thank you so much, Andy, for the very latest. Thank you, Andy.